else. Yeah, I think chemistry has been the most important thing. You know, he's uh, especially, um, you know, throughout the second part of the season, he's uh, progressed and, and I think, um, you know, he, he came here as a good player. But um, the role that he's in um, allows him to, to be the player that he is. Um, he's able to um, exploit the left side by by running up and down the channels, um, and you know that's his strength. Obviously, he's very fast and he's good with the ball at his feet. So um, it's no surprise, um, and you know we we just we expect that from him every game. For sure, and coach has been sort of hesitant to play him as a winger, but as a player, you see him the way that he can play up there sometimes. Do you sort of look and be tempted and think, oh, maybe he could work farther up the field? Yeah, no, I think he is a winger at heart. Um, but I think the role that we have him in um, allows him to play, allows him to be himself. Um, you know, he's honestly a really good 1v1 defender. I think people uh, don't expect that from him because of his attacking qualities. but. Um, you don't see a lot of people running past him because of his speed and his 1v1 uh, defending. So, um, yeah, he's definitely a winger at heart, but um, I think this role suits him the best, honestly. For sure. Does it put any extra strain on you personally to make sure that you have one eye out for him with him pushing forward so aggressively? Yeah, especially in the last game, you know, with Jordan, I had uh, a bit more responsibility defensively on that left side. Um, you know, at times I was almost like a left mid, um, you know, defending. Uh, but that's that's our style at this point you know we we expect Joven to get up and down the line and and Jordan to provide uh, going forward so uh, you know my job my duty was to um, help those guys out and, and let them be creative offensively sure um, the finalists for the end of season awards came out today you guys had uh, Jordan up for rookie of the year and Nico for newcomer of the year um, do you think there's any sort of uh, MVP case to be made for Nico though even though he only played a few games for you guys just given the impact that he had on the team in the time he has been here for sure I think you know he's a quality player he's a he's a guy that deserves to be mentioned obviously um, the guys that are also as finalists um, you know deserve to be there uh, Bradley Wright Phillips via even Jovinko who's had a good year um, but you know, Nico deserves a ton of credit for, for our change, for sure. Schmetzer does as well, um, and every single guy in the locker room. Um, but he's been a big part of our team and, and for sure deserves to be, um, for me, Newcomer of the Year. Um, Jordan deserves to be Rookie of the Year. Uh, maybe a little bit biased there, but uh, those guys have, have, made a gr have had a gr great season. So um, credit to those guys for coming in and, and making the most of, of their opportunities. With Joven coming in from the outside is never easy with the new team and coming in from Chicago like he did. How have you seen him sort of get used to the group in the locker room and everything else? And have you seen him take on anything different of a role as the year progresses here? No, I think his, his role has been the same throughout the whole year. Um, you know, obviously I think having um, a couple Islanders on our team definitely helps. You know, he's able to, to talk to them um, like if he was in Trinidad, honestly. Um, so. Uh, it helps having those guys around, um, you know, and I, I think our group as a whole, um, you know, we're a big, big family. We have chemistry, you know, um, obviously we have best friends, people hang out with, with other people, but um, at the same time, you know, we're all good. We're all happy. Um, we're a big, happy family, honestly. Um, we, we laugh at each other as much as, you know, yell at each other. So, um, you know, I think his role has been the same throughout the whole year. Uh, he's experienced. Um, now in the MLS, I think, and, and he's a vital part of our team. And, you know, I think he, he's come up big in the playoffs and, and the last or the later part of the season. Sure. Got here a little late. Do you mind going backtracking and tell us uh, how you feel about get, going into this match? Coming up? Yeah, excited. Uh, this Dallas team, you know, you can't take them lightly. Uh, they're going to be firing on all cylinders. So it's going to be difficult uh, for sure. This job is is uh isn't going to be easy um so we have to come out and, and attack be be uh mindful that they need to score three goals at, at least um so if we could slip one in um they have to score five so the most important thing is to be sound defensively but if we can uh provide some attacking minded players into the game and integrate those guys and and find a way to score um it definitely helps us come out of that game well physically the team do you think 
yeah, I think uh, I don't think we we got any injuries, um, so that's the most important thing. Um, now that uh, this this game is coming up, we have a week to rest. So um, you know, hopefully we can win this, and then we'll have another week to rest because uh, it's a bye week. So uh, that's very important for us. It seems like guys have been really happy to see Nelson have the success that he's had in the last couple games. What is it about just his personality or presence in the locker room that makes him such a popular figure among you? Yeah, I think he's a happy guy. You know, you can see him everywhere, yelling, screaming. He's a winner. He wants to win. Um, so I, I think from a locker room standpoint, you know, he, he gets along with everybody. He's super happy. Um, he's a good guy to be around. Um, and on the field, you can see his fight. You can see in practice, you can see it on the field uh, during games um, that he always wants to win. And he's a veteran player, so he's experienced everything. Um, but. You know, his willingness to put everything on the line for the team is what uh, separates him from, from really um, a lot of people in the league. Uh, whether it's, uh, for those of us who are never going to have the chance to experience it, just, you can sort of tell us quickly about the difference between playing a regular season game and a playoff game, whether it be from the intensity aspect or whatever. Yeah, every game is more intense in the playoffs. Uh, you see it in every foul, every call. You know, the, the home field advantage plays a bigger role. Um, it's all of the above, um, and you know I, I think you see it in the, in the last game. Um, you see how how rowdy our fans were, how how great they were um, to the eight minutes that that changed you know almost the season for Dallas. So uh, you know anything can happen, and that's the playoffs for you. Um, but at the same time, we have to be careful um, with the yellow cards because that can also play a, a, a big role in, in who plays in the next game and, and doesn't. So. Uh, we have to be smart in that way, in that regard. Um, so uh, we just have to take it day by day, honestly. Um, so this next game is, is very big. Is the confidence level as high as you've seen it right now? Yeah, yeah, to an extent. Um, you know, I think when we were on a roll, the the later part of the season, um, you know, the confidence was was still high. You know, I didn't think we had our best game against Kansas City, um, but we found ways to win. Uh, and this game, uh, maybe the first half, we created two chances. But other than that, you know, we we're pretty stagnant. But, um, you know, I think at this point with, with how things are going and where we're at after, you know, being in the last place in the middle of July or whatever, uh, it, it's pivotal and, and crucial that we have this confidence going forward and, and, uh, and we can use it to our advantage.